Hello everyone, this is the mind of Lilith and thank you for joining me today. I hope you and your families are doing well. So today I wanted to take a little time out to uh, maybe sneer at, taunt, and be petty towards these bitter, confused, and hypocritical black men who are angry about uh, nearly 40-year-old Drea getting pregnant by an NBA player named Jalen Green, who is the same age as her first son, who she abandoned to become a professional groupie over 15 years ago. So today, I'm not going to address why women are upset, um, but you guys know how I feel about sex work in general and sex workers. I'm not a fan of it, and I don't support it, and I don't support the culture that promotes sex work. But it is quite amusing to read comments from men who are saying that Jalen is stupid like most young athletes, which doesn't make sense to me because according to these same black men, um, women like myself should submit to men because they're stronger, inherently smarter, and more logical or rational. That is what I've been hearing for a long time. So brothers... If these young men are too stupid to think past their penises and not knock up a professional groupie, then why would a woman like myself feel comfortable submitting to a man and following his lead? If I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I refuse to be led by a man who is a slave to his penis. That does not make me a bitter, big back black woman. That makes me smart. Why would I follow a man who can't lead himself? What sense does that make? That's self-destructive behavior. Also, I'm confused about the ire and the venom that these men are spewing about Drea getting knocked up by a very rich man half her age. I thought you guys, passport bros, were saving up and getting your coins um, together to get passports to trick on, I mean, to wife up fit feminine, friendly, and submissive poor women in third world countries. These are women who don't have options because they're poorly educated with several children that were conceived while they were selling their bodies to sex tourists. I thought you told us, brothers, that men don't care about a woman's degrees, her education, or her money. All he cares about is whether or not she can make his penis hard by being pretty, feminine, fit, and friendly. So if these feminine, fit, and friendly preferences aren't going to school and they don't have careers and they're not getting wifed up, how else are they supposed to take care of themselves? How else are these pretty bimbos supposed to take care of themselves if they don't have careers or education? We all know that uh, beauty is a very valuable commodity in the world, especially for poor and disenfranchised people with low social status, like most black people. Being a beautiful preference in the black community is akin to winning the lottery in some cases. You get treated with more respect than the angry, bitter darkies, quote unquote, with kinky hair and wide backs. You know, the women who have to work so that they don't starve to death or languish in poverty and abusive relationships. The type of women who are used and abused and mistreated because they don't have preference genetics, light skin, wavy hair, light eyes or whatever. You black men have fun castigating and shitting on these big back black women every single day. But a lot of these big back black women are usually educated or they work hard to provide for themselves and their children because they have to. And these big back black women have to work hard because a lot of you big mouth black men on social media don't think that the average black woman deserves anything but scorn, contempt, manipulation, or exploitation. You guys enjoy doing this to these women and you actually feel like they should be happy to be exploited it in the first place because nobody wants them you're a dark-skinned black woman who wants you right so drea is doing what many pretty women do renting their wombs to the highest bidder it's not about compatibility or family and marriage they want to get paid for their genetics because contrary to popular belief that is the most important thing to many of these successful black men 
creating preference babies for the next generation of rich men to take care of. Look at Nick Cannon, look at Kanye West, look at Kevin Hart, and just about every black male celebrity. They choose women who look like Drea, professional groupies who meet the preference standard, who meet the preference threshold, mixed race or biracial, light skin, exotic, and a sex worker to some extent. Why would Drea get a regular job that's going to give her a big back from the stress and a poor diet when she can just sell her pretty to black men who want light-skinned babies? And quiet as it's kept, many women in Hollywood rent their wombs to gay men who want to hide their sexuality. And, you know, gay men use pretty women for the same reasons, to carry on their genetic lineage and hide their sexuality. Because contrary to popular belief in Barack Obama, um, two people of the same gender cannot impregnate each other. So Drea is in the business of selling her pretty, just like Kim Kardashian, Amber Rose, Black China, Evelyn Lozada, all professional groupies and prostitutes for rich black men. And white women do it too. All races of women do this. So when emotional, ignorant, and weak women like me call out the mess, we are called bitter and hateful and told to shut up and stop hating on the pretty preferences. A few weeks ago, I talked about Cassie's huge legal settlement and how many black men were upset about her uh, winning so much money, saying that she was just looking for a payday from Diddy, as if a sex slave who was getting her ass beat every day is supposed to move on with her life, broke and broken, to make it easier for Diddy to prey on his next victim. And so like slave masters, many black men expect women to be used up and abused for free. Why shouldn't Drea get paid for her genetics? They're being sold at a premium price. What else is she going to do except sell those swimsuits that she uses to show off her body modifications? These women invest in their beauty so they can catch licks. And you guys are okay with it while you're smashing because you want pretty light-skinned babies like Kevin Hart or the rest of these Hollywood celebrities, right? Or you're okay with smashing these females until you have to pay for it without having sex with her, i.e. child support or alimony. You want to be able to use women's bodies for free with no responsibility or obligation to any offspring. So if it's okay for men to use women for sex, why isn't it okay for women to use men for money? Now, to the women really quickly. It is hypocritical for women who support, advocate for, and defend whoring culture to be upset with a whore doing what she does best, getting paid for sex. I know the same women who twerk to Cardi B and Sexy Red and Megan Thee Stallion aren't mad at a woman like Drea for actually doing what these songs are bragging about. At 40 years old, Drea is an OG thought. A lot of the music these younger artists are promoting are about women like Drea, professional groupies and prostitutes. Some people are saying that, you know, I was male identified with internalized misogyny because I don't like sex work, which is absurd. Why would I be okay with a woman selling or defiling her body by allowing a man who doesn't care about her to use her as a sex object for his pleasure? My OG subscribers remember me saying that one of the reasons why I have so much respect for Melody Sherry is because she's pretty, not Melody Sherry, Melody Rogers, I believe is now, because she's very pretty and she's pretty enough to sit back and have a man take care of her. But she chose to be an entrepreneur instead. She did not take the easy way out. She went to college, got trade certifications and licenses, started businesses, and became a self-made woman. So regardless of what people say about her personality, I'm always going to dap up Melody. We need more Melodies instead of Drea's in our community. So back to Drea. What else is she supposed to do at 40 years old with no marketable skills besides her cosmetically enhanced body and her light skin? She's submitting to the role that the patriarchy created for her. She's a sex object and a breeder of light skin preference babies for the next generation of black men to impregnate. The more is it first in Spain and black people, men and women, because I didn't forget about Jess Hilarious and her light skin baby daddy. Black men and women place a premium and high value on light skin. Period. Both genders have been doing this for generations. I'm not saying all black people do this. I'm saying this generally. This is how black people think about light skinned people. They see them as a preference. They put them on a pedestal. They treat them better. They are willing to pay the light skin tax for light skinned babies. So, you know, both genders have done this for generations. But for today, I'm addressing black men because their reactions and their anger is absolutely hilarious to me. For women, you know, our reactions are a bit more complex. Some are upset with Drea out of jealousy because women are 
you know, competitive against each other. And some women like myself are genuinely disgusted with Drea. This is a very calculated move on her part. She was plotting on Jalen's loins for the payday. I think she trapped him with this baby. Jalen is 22 years old and a multimillionaire with no kids. Dre is about 40. Already has two kids with two different men and one is an NFL player. She has more to gain from getting pregnant than Jalen does because Jalen more than likely has hundreds of preference prostitutes in his DMs begging for his sperm, begging for his attention, begging for money, begging for an opportunity to become a rich baby mama. Drea's options, on the other hand, are a lot less because of her age and her baggage as a tenured pass around groupie. Jalen is probably smashing several other women and or men based on rumors I've heard. Yet somehow no one else is pregnant except the oldest groupie on the roster who just happens to have two other children. I think she plotted, she schemed, and clank, clank, secured a, another 18 years of child support by renting out her womb to a walking gooey duck. Is Dre a predator or groomer like R. Kelly? Some people are calling her R. Drelly. I don't think so necessarily, but she definitely grabbed the cradle. I don't know if Jalen agreed to this pregnancy or not, but I find it hard to believe that Jalen wanted to get a 40-year-old veteran groupie pregnant instead of a childless groupie his age. I think she plotted for this buzzer beater baby that she's going to use to take care of her for the next 18 years. This baby is her semi-retirement plan. Now, I don't want to say too much more because, you know, Drea is pregnant and I don't want to stress the baby out. But honestly, I think Drea is very foul for what she's doing. But what she's doing is not uncommon. There are plenty of older women who are hitting 40 and maybe even 50 who are plotting on younger men who are naive, broke, horny, childless, and wet behind the ears because they can't get a man their age or a little bit older. To be fair, most men Drea's age want women the age of Jalen. So Drea went straight to the source. Instead of competing with younger women for older men, she decides to go the route of getting a younger man who may not be as biased against older women as some of the older men Drea's age are. It is what it is. Do I condone it? Absolutely not. Um, dating someone the same age as your child is awful to me. I don't know what is going on here. I do know what's going on. But a lot of women are doing this. There are more and more stories coming out about these older teachers preying on their teenage students, okay? So does not just act like men are the only predators in the community, they're not. There are lots of female predators that we do not talk about. A lot of these young boys, a lot of these men who treat women like sex objects, a lot of them were taken advantage of and exploited by older women when they were young kids and teenagers. I know of several men who were sexually abused by older women when they were not even teenagers yet. So let's not just act like men are doing this. Both men and women are preying on children out here. now. To be fair, Jalen's not a child. He is 22 years old. But the age difference gives uh, Drea an advantage, okay? It is easy to run game on a 21, 22-year-old man versus a 40, 45-year-old man. Who knows the game? So a lot of the old groupies are going after young men because these men have not been gamed up yet. It is what it is. I mean, daddy's not in the homes. He's not in the communities. Daddy's out here being a player and a pimp at 45, 50 years old. So his sons are being plotted on and preyed upon by older viper women. The same thing for the girls. The men are in the home. So the young girls are left to their own devices at a young age and they get preyed upon and exploited and abused by older men. Just like Drea did not protect her own son because she wanted to chase groupies. Um, these men are not protecting their daughters because they want to chase hoes like Drea in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And I talked about this before. So Drea is not a groomer like R. Kelly, but she did take advantage of this young man, in my opinion. Um, it's hard to believe that Jalen wanted to get this, this older woman knocked up. I'm sorry. She already had two kids by two other men. Why would she do this unless it was for the financial payout? But with all that said, I am low-key happy that Drea's foulness and her thoughtery is making black men fuming mad because that's what they deserve for their self-hatred, their stupidity, and their lack of discipline. I like when black male logic is weaponized against them. It's the only way that they'll learn how asinine they sound when they tell women that their education and their careers are useless and that women should submit regardless of how weak or ignorant their man may be. Black men like to play, or not just black men, men in general like to play women against each other, using our insecurities as women and our stupidity as pick to keep us competing for their abusive scraps. It is quite ironic 
that the women who have been weaponized by the patriarchy are being used to exploit that very same patriarchy. And some would consider Drea's pregnancy a pyrrhic victory for feminists in the ongoing battle of pettiness between men and women. Because at the end of the day, no matter how much smack men talk about their high value, they will always be reduced to whatever their penises want, which is why most of them cannot be trusted as leaders. They'll throw away their whole kingdom, their whole family, their own whole empire to have sex with a woman that they despise just because she's pretty. And even if she isn't pretty, they'll still smash out of obligation to serve their genitalia. And this is what women mean when we say most men are weak and dumb. It's not about muscular strength or cognitive capabilities. It's the fact that you guys cannot resist a beautiful woman or man if you're gay. You know, you men still don't know after millions of years of evolution <laughs> that your penises are the ultimate troll. OK, your meat makes you do things that you don't really want to do. You lose focus and concentration, and discipline and money. You make babies you don't want. You end up thousands of miles away in a barrio in Colombia getting drugged up by a prostitute who doesn't care if you live or die as long as you pay her bills. It is really hilarious when you think about it. Now, to be fair, again, Drea is much older than Jalen. So she has an advantage of experience. She knows how to run game. It is what it is. But we have 35 and 40 year old men making the same mistakes this young man is making, getting seduced by a younger woman who just wants him for his money. Then once she gets the money and the baby, he gets upset with her for doing what she was supposed to do, get paid for being pretty. Because again, you guys don't care about her education or her career. All you care about is how pretty she is. So why shouldn't she use that to her advantage to get what she wants? I mean, if she's in school all day and working, she can't cater to your needs. She can't submit to you. She can't be pretty. If she goes to work like the rest of us big back women, she's going to get a big back too from all the cortisol and the stress, from not eating right and not getting enough sleep and, you know, worrying about her bills and her bosses. She's going to have a big back like the rest of us. So in order for Drea to protect the sides of her back, she had to lay on her back to get pregnant by a rich man. So what is the issue here with these men? Not the women. I understand why women feel some kind of way about it. I'm talking about the men right now. I'll probably address the women in a separate conversation. But right now, I'm having so much fun, like, taunting you guys, using your words against you. Like, yo, Kevin Samuel said, fit, feminine, friendly, submissive. He mentioned young, too. Andrea's 40, but she still looks younger than some women in their 20s. She made sure to maintain her fit, feminine, and friendliness and submissiveness to extend the shelf life of her um her vagina to stay in the game longer right if she would have retired to be a bareback broad 10 years ago she would not be where she is now i think a bit sardonic and petty yes absolutely absolutely and it's quite fun i don't agree with what she did as a woman i don't condone it but not for the reasons why you men <laughs> I have an issue with it. You guys have a problem because, you know, she got pregnant. You have no issue tricking on and spending money on beautiful women who are just there to serve your need. You have no problem attacking women for wanting to be independent and self-sufficient. Guys, listen, we go to school and we get careers because we don't want to end up like Drea. Having to have a baby by a man that we don't love, we don't care about, who doesn't care about us, who's probably gay, most likely or could be gay, um, for the bag. We want to make our own money. We want to be able to write our own tickets in life. We don't want to have to submit to a man who doesn't know how to control his sexual desires. That's not fun. That's not fun. A lot of men become cruel and malicious towards women who they're not sexually attracted to. OK, even if they're married, especially if they're married, that's a very dangerous position for a woman to be in, to get married when you're young and pretty and perky and fertile at 20, 25 years old. And 20 years later, your man decides that uh, you're 20 years older. You've gained some weight. You've had some kids. Your back is kind of big now. Let me go to be with somebody who looks like a model. That's a precarious position for women to be in. So we we're like, you know what? We know how men are. We are logical enough to understand that we're going to get older. We're going to gain weight. We're going to lose our looks because of age. It is what it is. So let's make sure that we have the financial security and stability to, to take care of our children just in case your penis wakes up one day and says, I want somebody younger. I want somebody prettier. I want somebody skinnier. So we have to protect ourselves against your penises, men. And this is why we get jobs and go to school. We don't want to end up like Ariane Curry, dependent on a man 
to take care of her to the extent that she can't even leave the relationship because she needs more child support. We don't want to end up like that. We don't want to end up like Sharina Hudson, who has to be a side piece to a married man for 15 years because she doesn't have her own situation going on. We don't want that either. We want to live like Melody. <laughs> we want to live like Oprah, free, autonomous, independent, secure, big back or not. Okay? So is Dre a cautionary tale for these men? No, she is not. Because Drea is a preference, and preferences deserve to have a life of luxury that other black women do not deserve to have. As a matter of fact, there is a young black man who may be 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 years old, who dreams about wiping up and getting pregnant. One of these groupies, like uh, Bernice Burgess, she looks great for her age, she's 42, 43. He dreams about becoming rich and famous just so he can have the opportunity to smash this 40 something year old woman. That's a dream girl, right? So the game don't change. You men won't change. And so women won't change either. The patriarchy is what it is. Women are valued for their beauty, which is fine. There's no hate against beautiful women. And men are valued for what they can provide to beautiful women. What's the problem? What is the problem? The problem is that you guys are upset that women are getting the bag with these babies without having to submit to you as a wife. These women get the best of the both worlds. They get to have a you know, a five-figure monthly child support check, and they don't have to do shit you say. They can do what they want, live their life, have a boyfriend, a man, or whatever the case may be, and you have to pay for that preference baby. That's why you're upset, because these women, you're paying for their freedom, <laughs> and you're not going to be able to have sex with them. Wow, that's sad. Oh, well, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I look forward to reading your feedback. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will speak to you all soon. Oh, one more thing. Haha. -ha.